Previous question based on hashing. We are considering a dynamic hashing approach for four bit integer keys. These are the given conditions which specify how the hashing is exactly done. There is a main hash table of size four. So we have a hash table only of size four, not greater than that. And how the hashing is done? There is no proper hash function as we are aware of. They are uh, stating a custom built hash function based upon which it is to be done. The two least significant bits of a key is used to index into the main hash table. Now our integers are four bits. Let us call that i3, i2, i1, i0. So i1 and i0 will be used for hashing. It is a, a size four hash table. So it will have the index as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. These are the corresponding values of this i1 and i0. Next, initially it is empty. Thereafter, when more keys are hashed into it, then to resolve the collisions, the set of all keys corresponding to a main hash table entry is organized as a binary tree that grows on demand. Now, what mechanisms are we aware of in order to resolve the collision? We know of a linked list approach in which there is a hash table like that. It has limited space and when that is filled, we use this chaining kind of thing. A linked list is built over here. We have to traverse that entire list in order to search for an element. This is the main hash table which is limited in size and then if there are any collisions, then all those elements are placed into a linked list kind of structure. So the same thing is given over here in a slightly modified way. Instead of linked list, they are using a binary tree which grows on demand. How does it exactly grow? Let us see. First, the third least significant bit, which means this i2, that is used to divide the keys into left and the right subtrees, which means if i2 is zero, then we'll go left. If it is one, then we'll go right. That way the binary tree will grow. To resolve more collisions, then each node of the binary tree is further subdivided into left and right subtrees based on the fourth least significant bit, which means let us say, we have two numbers, their LSBs are 1, 1, their MSBs are 0, 0, and their I3, which is the most significant bit, is 1 and 0, respectively. Then using these two, they will be mapped to the same index. Now it causes a collision, so we look for the I2 bit. Now again it is causing the collision. So since it is zero, we'll be moving left. This is how the tree will grow. But now since again, there is a collision, then while inserting this next key, we'll check for the most significant bit, which is I3. Now it is one for this and it is zero for this. So accordingly, the tree will be grown from this branch. We'll go out like this zero and one. This is for zero. This one is for one. So that is how the tree will grow. A split is done only if it is needed, only when there is a collision. So using this given information, we have to identify which of the given sequence of keys when inserted will cause such a hash table to be formed that has been given to us in this diagram. So let us take each example one by one and see what happens. The first one is 10, 9, 6, 7, 5, 13. So let us first write down their binary representations. For 10, it will be 1010. 9 will be 1001. You have to take 4 bit in all of them. This one will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This one is 8. So 8 plus 4, 12. And plus 1, 13. So we've got the binary representation of all of them and we are inserting them in the same order starting from 10 up to 13. So when 10 is inserted, it would be inserted in this index 10. Here we are inserting 10. As of now, initially it is empty, so there is no collision. Then next for inserting 9, 0, 1. So here that 9 is placed. Then for 6, 1, 0. So it is a collision now because that slot is not empty. 10 is already there. 
So now we will have to check for the i2 bit. For 10, it was 0, and for 6, it is 1. So now this will have to be grown 0 and 1. Then on this side, it this side will resemble 10, and this side will resemble 6. So both are inserted. Next, 7 over here. Then for 5, 0, 1. Again, there is a collision because 9 is there. So we will check the third bit or the bit I2. In case of 9, it is 0. And in case of 5, it is 1. So this will be grown like this, 0 and 1. And what does 0 represent? This is 9. And this one is resembling 5 so find till now then we have to insert this 13 again we see from the last two bits there is a collision 9 and 5 are both there in the slot 10 and 6 are there in the slot so there is a collision for 13 as well we will check the i2 bit which is 1 and we see that this tree is already having a branch at 1 like this 5 is currently there at that branch so it again makes a collision so now we will have to check for the msb for the i3 bit and what did it collide with with 5 so for 5 the msb is 0 and for 13 the msb is 1 so we will grow that tree from here the 0 side will represent 5 and this one side will represent 13 so that is how 13 is also inserted in this slot so, as we can see from option A, we have got the same structure of this hash table as we were expecting. So, this is a correct option. Let us also check for some other option and see if we can get the same. Uh, A is true. Let us check for, the say, option C. We can check for all of them, but this was an MCQ question. So, there is no need to check all the options. If we have got one to be true then that can be reported as the correct answer but just for understanding let us also check option c now it has 9 5 10 6 7 and 1 <clears throat> so we'll write the binaries 1001 0101 this is the sequence in which they'll be inserted so starting with 9, 0, 1. So it will be placed here. For 5, again it is 0, 1. There is a collision. So checking the third bit or the I2 bit, 0 and 1. 0 side will grow the tree like this on both sides. 0 side will represent 9. 1 side will represent 5. Both are inserted. Next is 1, 0. 10 is inserted. 1, 0 again. 6 has to be inserted. There is a collision now. Then we'll grow the tree. Zero side will represent 10. One side will represent 6. Both are inserted. Next we have 7 to be inserted here. Finally we have 1 in 0, 1. And there are already 9 and 5 both over there. So 9, 5 and 1 all three collide. We check for the bit I2 which is 0 in this case. And for 9 also it was 0. So now there is a collision between 9 and 1 from this 0 side. So now the tree will have to be grown like this. 0 and 1. Then that 0 side will represent 9. And as we can see both of them are having 0 over there. So we are again checking their most significant bit which is 1 here and 0 here. So the 0 side now will represent 1. And this one side will represent 9. So this branch is not there. We had to grow the tree from 0 side. So there is a different structure we are getting out of this. And similarly, we can also check for the options B and D. And we will find out that only option A will give us the hash table which is mentioned over here. So that is the correct answer.